Hey, this is uh, Steve with Synthotech again and uh, showing off our new DS8 clone. It's got a lot of really cool features on here. Uh, this great box, it's got a sensitivity setting, a decay, a sweep, a VCO, a rate, an LFO, and we've got a volume knob here. Um, really cool, we got a CV in and a trigger in. What I've made for this trigger, you can use piezo triggers to kind of like put it actually into the case, so the case itself is actually uh, what you hit to make the drum synth work. But I've hooked up just an old like uh, rock band drum pad, and eventually it's the same thing. What's nice about this, having it being able to plug in here, is that we can also trigger it using a drum machine, or a sequencer, uh, whatever. So there's a lot of really cool opportunities. I'm just gonna show you some different sounds, and kind of show you what it works, how it works like, it's pretty cool. So, um, basically, Just the sensitivity. So you can hit it off. Turn it off there. You know, the sensitivity. Oh, the decay will affect how long that is. It's actually um, it can be pretty long. It's also got a noise. Filter here, or so it actually it's got two different versions of it. If we it kind of gives good hi hat sounds and also snare drum sounds. So put all the noise all the way on. Increase a little decay. Here's the other version. Turn the noise back off, and it gets us back into the synth part of it, more sounding like. A lot of different sounds. Some real sub bass kind of sounds. drum sound there. some CV options here in a second, but that's just kind of the basic rundown here of uh, this DS8 drum cl clone that used to be from Corin, but we got our own design on it. Um, pretty rad. Uh, we got PC boards and kits available now, so check it out. Thanks.